apparently Bray Wyatt has unfinished business. And he's not alone. Oh, and look at the punches. Teeing off. Hang on a minute. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. We are back with some more WWE 2K19 My Career Mode. Thank you for joining me, as always. Picking up where the action left off in the last episode, link in the description down below if you haven't seen that. One of the most trippiest episodes we have ever done in any WWE series. We got gassed by Bray Wyatt, ended up at the Wyatt compound, had a fight with a zombified Triple H, and then took on Bray Wyatt before setting fire to his compound. But I think that might have all been in our head. I'm not 100% sure. It's been sure. weeks since we last saw Buzz after his kidnapping and battle with Bray Wyatt Welcome at Wyatt's back to compound. Raw. I know you don't like to ease into things, so you'll be in action tonight in a tag match versus the bar. Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. We get to choose our own tag partner? Give me some good choices, please. Goldust, Jason Jordan, Finn Balor, or The Miz? We just had a feud with The Miz, but he's one of my favorite superstars currently, so I'd love to see what he has to say. Finn Balor would be a good partner as well. Let's check in with Goldust the first. The around town is that you're looking for a co-producer tonight. Well, have I got two words for you. Buzz Dust! Or we could be... Gold Buzz. And as a partner, I aim to please, so it's your call. I think I need a veteran like you by my side if I'm going to take down the bar. I'm more concerned about the match than what our team name should be. Oh, God, how about Buzz Gold? No, 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 that's terrible, jeez. Poor Gold Dust. I'm going to have to think about this some more. You always come on too strong. Poor Gold Dust. So underrated. Let's talk hey, to Jason Jordan. I heard from my dad that you're looking for a tag team partner tonight to take on the bar. As someone who's defeated them before, I assume you're going to be choosing me. You assume incorrectly. You assume very much so incorrectly. Because it was thanks to your partner, Seth Rollins. I'm going to explore my options before I make a decision. Come on, Finn. Hey. I know you're looking for a partner to take on the bar, but unfortunately I already have a match tonight. How do you know I want you to team with me? Just a hunch. You're right. It'd be an honor. Maybe some other time. But I will say this. I know you're coming off some injuries and this was your first match back tonight. I had a long layoff with my shoulder injury a couple of years back and I learned you can't go half speed when you return. I appreciate the advice. And I bet you guys don't appreciate that really shocking impersonation. Something's different about you, and I can't put my finger on it. Be my partner, Miz. I switched shampoos recently. Maybe that's it? No, I just figured it out. It's that you no longer have a title around your waist. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that you had two titles, and now they're both gone. Things change pretty fast around here, don't they? I don't see one around your waist either, mate. Not everything changes. You're still a giant tool. There's no way in hell I'd be your tag partner tonight. God damn it. There's no way in hell I'd ever ask you. No, well, I wanted to ask him. Seriously. Look, that means our only two choices are Jason Jordan and Gold Dust. And there's no way in hell I'm choosing Jason Jordan. We're going to go with the Gold Dust. I've made my decision. Tonight will be the bar versus Gold yes! Buzz. I won't let you down unless you want me to. Like I said, I aim to please. Let's just win the match, Gold Dust. You got it. Okay. Let's go to this match then. I was really hoping either Finn or the Miz would tag up with me. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow I had a the feeling the Miz would have given place. the fact that we, we just had a few. A real fan favorite. Big it time sucks that they tease us with Finn Balor and not let us tag with him, but the Gold Buzz is in action against the Bar. First time we've had some tag team action going on in a very long time. Especially against a seasoned duo like Seamus and Cesaro.
Here they come. The bars on pay per view. On pay per view. Mate, we're on Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole has no idea what's even going on. The Sheamus Experience! I do love that Sheamus and Cesaro took this tag team from just two guys that were thrown together to something that became very marketable. WWE history. Once upon a time, bitter rivals. Now, a successful team. Absolutely. Uh, you look at this situation as a case of where competition and rivalry builds respect, builds friendship. Case in point, though, as I said before, I think Goldust is very Cesaro. underrated as a superstar. I mean, he'll be a Hall of Famer when his time comes. Don't get me wrong. And he's going to do it without having won one of the, you know, major world titles. But he just has the ability to put anybody over. But here we go. Up against the bar for the first time. All we have to do is win by pinfall or submission. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better Time be to throw Cesaro around like a no rag doll. Because you can bet this is going to be a lesson. There's been a lot of talk done. recently that Sheamus wants Cesaro to have a singles push and become champion. How do you guys at home feel about that? Belly. Would you like to see Cesaro have a singles push? Let me know in the comment section down below because as of the time of recording this episode putting it all together for you guys. Sheamus has been moved from SmackDown to Raw, and it's seemingly by himself, so I think we might actually have Cesaro running around on his own for a little while, especially with the rumours that Sheamus has been battling some neck injuries that have seen the likes of Edge, Stone Cold, Kurt Angle all hang up the boots, albeit Kurt Angle came back, don't get me wrong, but he's never been the same since. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Come on, Swiss oh, Superman. Oh, swept the leg right out from under. Uh oh. It's sick and thud as his gold dust. Any, uh, like any harm in leaving out. your post to in come May give you a tag partner a hand, please? Anytime. Anytime. Match. When Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members, um, and Carmella. am I going to get back in the ring in time? Between these women, Throw me so in the ring, please. That Naomi was in Thank you. Flair and Lynch's court, and Tamina was in Natalia and Carmella's court. Oh, God damn it. I have yet to pull off a hot tag. Anytime, Gold Dust. Let's get him in. Resolve. Come on, Gold Dust. Dream work makes the team work. This is going to drain a bit of. Cesaro stamina is going to roll out. Cesaro not looking so great right now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount All right, Gold Dust, get to it. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the He went for the pin. Tag, though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. And Sheamus powers out. Gold Dust making a statement. Gold Dust going to work on the inside. We're going to take care of Cesaro on the outside. He's inflicting some See if Gold Dust can bring here. us back into this match. How about WWE yeah, Universe? Get around him. Live and up. Right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. That's it, Gold Dust. So close he's going to get the. Oh, he's got the hot tag. tag. 
That was a game changer right there, Michael. Taking off his feet here. It's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Come on, Gold Dust. Perfectly executed. Drop kick. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had Get over here, you bold bastard. He's going for the gut wrench suplex. Uh-oh, the delayed gut wrench suplex. Wow. Just throwing his fist around. What's he going to do with it? Yeah, we know what this is. A page out of Kevin Owens' book. Crunching drop. Golda showing some expert prowess here. He's in control. All right, Gold Dust. Oh, I think this man Time to bring your boy back in. His partner wants back in this match, guys. He looks rested and ready to go to me. Gold Dust is not going to like this. Gold Dust groggy and wide open here. Here we go. Working the gut. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Not today, Seamus. Get out of here. Oh, big right fist. Takes him down with brute force there. What is, what a Time for Drew to hit the comeback. Can he finish the job? Nobody comes back from this. The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. Cesaro is in a really swing life away. We could be looking at a finish here. The Cesaro section with that one. The night could be over for Cesaro. What is buzzing? The boys device. That's how you put an exclamation point. Get the pin. The of a match, guys. It's a thing of beauty that move. There's Come on, ref. One, two. Um. Can he do it here? One, two. Fall out of it. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. I want to know why the first pin broke up. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do that. What is he oh, he's hit it again. The charge. Great move by him right there. Yeah, let's see that one again. That should be game set match, ladies and gentlemen. He's got him covered. One, two. And he got a near oh, you are kidding! Superman powers out of a pinfall. Gold Dust apparently thinks he's all that and right now, and here's a cover. One, two. Just give me a three count, ref, please. Very nice. Nobody controls the pace of the match quite like this guy. Oh, if only we were Rey Mysterio. Not today. Not in my ring, you don't. I don't think there are two teams. How are we going to get the win? He is just right kicking now. out of this anything and everything here. Yeah? He's making a statement here with this attack. Gold Dust oh, hasn't been building up near enough momentum to get back into this match. When this guy's on. Look out. Thank God for that. He was going to go for his signature move there. Get out of here. Definitely in a tough spot now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control. Turn around. He's taking on some damage. Swing life away. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left? He's going for the pin. One, two, three. There it is. Des Moines and Gold Dust getting it done. God damn it. I have never had Here's anybody kick out of match. the Des Moines device like Cesaro did tonight. That was just one of those matches that the men involved we hit it there. And he kicked out not once course. but twice. Then we went for the roll up. Didn't get it. Cesaro started mounting a little bit of a charge. But at the end of the day, Des Moines gets it done. The gold buzz. Oh no. Apparently Bray Wyatt has unfinished business. And he's not alone. Oh, and look at the punches. Teeing off. Hang on a minute. Set to the outside. Hang on a minute. Go from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Buzz is is that Cole? Now. What are they gonna do? Ooh, what an elbow. Ouch. Is that Cole? Bray Wyatt that is Cole's haircut. Presence felt. What a shocking turn I'm about events. to eat Sister Abigail. Nope. 
Finn to the rescue. It's okay, Drew. I've got your back. Get wrecked, Bray Wyatt. But that looked like Cole Quinn. If Bray Wyatt has gone and recruited Drew Demoise's best friend, well, this feud just took a turn. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. Where's your Firefly Funhouse? So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. Where's Mercy the Buzzard? But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. It is cold. When it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. It's Cole Quinn. He was no use to you anymore. But he is of great use to me. You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. Uh-oh. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally. Swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. Okay. We still have no idea who this guy is. It's Cole Queen, don't be stupid. There it is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Quinn? Or yep. Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. It's about to go down. Talk to Cole to try and get him to break free from Bray Wyatt's hold or attack Bray Wyatt. I mean, I could attempt to talk to Cole, but I think attacking Bray would mean more business. I think we get our point across if we belt the crap out of him. And again, Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn gang up on Buzz. It's Finn, Finn Balor to the rescue the again. King was not going to sit back and let this happen to Buzz. Bray has I think we found ourselves a new partner, ladies and gentlemen. What does Kurt Angle have to do with any of this? It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere because your match will be taking place in a steel cage. Nice. Buzz is going to get a shot to even the score with Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match. Follow and this buzzard, matters. baby. Man, this game's just taken a huge turn. We the have jump that they have made the from 2K18 to 2K19 next. in the form of the story of mode is absolutely incredible. Bray Wyatt, the first superstar to get a submission or pinfall, a feud against the Miz, can find a way to escape the cage. A feud against Bray win. Wyatt. Two of my favorite superstars, currently. Still 50-50 on where I kind of sit with this Firefly Funhouse thing that's going on, but I think it's got potential, if done correctly. Bray Wyatt enters an arena and the Fireflies come out. Get around it. Intimidating, frightening. I really do feel he should have been WWE champion for longer than he was. Mentally disturb anyone who opposes him. When it comes to promos, right now, currently, he's I feel Bray Wyatt distinctly different. And explain that to me, Corey. The Miz. Are the two that stand above any other superstar currently? They definitely set the bar, what kind of riddle is that? which is ironic considering okay. we just defeated the bar. Sounds like gibberish. I really feel Bray Wyatt working with Alistair Black could could be magic. Could really be magic. However, with this Firefly Funhouse thing, I've been getting vibes that Nikki Cross and maybe Eric Young are going to get involved with Bray Wyatt. It just makes sense to me, because why else would you break up Sanity 
I mean, Eric Young is a great singles competitor on his own, but we are yet to see him perform outside of the sanity gimmick. And I think if they painted Bray Wyatt as a puppet master of sorts, I think Eric Young could work wonders under Bray Wyatt's kind of construct. The crowd are definitely around Bray, though. Asking the warmth of weirdness. He's here. Oh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Drew Demoy's Bray Wyatt steel cage match. Hey, for Get Bray Wyatt to red here, health and pin him. Okay. All right. These guys are undoubtedly as much as we can have the way of this match swing our direction, I feel we're going to get screwed in a cinematic. It's creepy. It's unsettling, and that's exactly Elbow drop kind of connects, though. It. At least so far, we're one from one off the top rope. No misses here. You'd think your boy Argod Zero is learning how to play this game. Bray Wyatt starting to come back. We learned in the last episode... Because of the build I have created with Drew Demoise, he seems to struggle against some of the bigger guys in the way of being able to pull off some grapple moves. So, when it comes to 2K20, I am going to make Drew Demoise an upper level when it comes to weight class. I think we're going to put him in the heavyweight, if not super heavyweight. I have decided that we're going to continue our story as Drew Demoise in the next one, considering the voice actor is returning to reprise his role, so it only makes sense Fire, that Drew Demoise has his story continue on our channel and be the poster now. boy I need to point out for our WWE playthroughs. Some bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match, and of course the Elimination Chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the Asylum match where weapons Bray Wyatt, are Wyatt still in control. Cage. Just goes to show you. Oh, the clothesline hits. At least we're able to do a little bit more damage than we did. The same. At the compound. No That's a plus. A Can we climb up the top and dive off? That'd be great. Oh! That didn't work out like I had planned, but we still caught enough of it to do some damage. Neckbreaker. There must be serious Thank injuries. you. What are we going for here? Inverted Tornado DDT. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. In control. We all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which in is control a lot here. more so hey, than we were in the last episode. Atmosphere to excel in. That's for not sure. Not in the ring with WWE's toughest, but he's surrounded by an incredibly unforgiving steel cage. This match is so evenly contested. We set ourselves right up for disaster whenever we miss that sliding move. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Uh-oh. Backdrop suplex. He's dealing out a lot of damage, Bray. That's how you wear down your This opponent. is not looking good. He's gone for a cover. One. Two. This one's far from not over. good enough. He's not giving up that easy. Man, we can't lie down. To let his feelings be known. I just feel that this is going to prolong the feud. And we're going to end up having a tag match. I feel that's the way it's going down. It's going to end up being Ray and Quinn versus myself and Bala. But is it enough to end it? Can we hit the Demoise device, ladies and gentlemen? Boom! There it is! We're only a couple of moves away from getting him to red health. Can we hit the elbow drop? Yes, we can. I don't know why I went for the pin attempt there, because I've got to get him to red health. Let's do it again. Get up. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is the Oh, shoulder tackle off the top. Let's go. Now we can go for the cover. That'll pretty much do it. I knew it. Cole Wait Quinn's here to stuff There's me around. Quinn. So much for the cage preventing anyone from interfering. How the hell's Finn going to get in here? Finn, please! That was sick. Here comes Finn Balor. This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want. The Demon happen. King is on our side, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. 
Oh, damn it. Well, that's the end of me in that match. And that's the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me as always. I'm very keen to see how this feud plays out. If you have been enjoying this, leave a like on the video. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that support. If you're new to the channel, plenty of other content to go check out. Urge you to do so. If you enjoy what I'm throwing down, pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by hitting subscribe. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.